You don't get what you wish for. You get what you work for. I was going to be done after New York, but I didn't want to go into the Olympia uh, with the second place. I wanted the momentum. I wanted to, to go in with a win. So I think I made my statement going to Toronto and competing in the biggest 212 show that's ever been put on, almost 30 guys, and coming out number one. You know, Flex is obviously the champ, so it's going to be a, another rough year at the Olympia. You know, the, the, the points between first and sixth are going to be minuscule, so, you know, everybody's going to be bringing their A game, so it's going to be a, one hell of a battle. And, you know, for it being the 50th year anniversary, it's, uh, it's going to be a show you guys don't want to miss, so make sure you keep your eye out. on July 3rd, filming chess with my boy Chris. We are about 12 weeks out, approximately. Actually, it'll be 11 weeks out in a couple days from the 2014 15th anniversary Mr. Olympia. So we're going to uh, shoot some chess today at a Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym and uh, show you guys how my chess routine is 11 weeks out from uh, contest prep. Let's check it out. I like to fly, do a fly movement of some sort before I press because that's a good way to um, keep injuries down. I was really getting some blood in the chest and pretty exhausted it. So I like it. Sometimes I'll do cable, cable flies or uh, incline flies like you saw today before a pressing movement. I mean, I can press first. But um, once you get to a certain point in your career and a certain age, you kind of got to train a little smarter. I've been lucky enough to where I've never gotten injured training. I mean, I had my shoulder scoped back in 2008. But that was just wearing a tear because of football. But I've been blessed that I never had a, a training injury. I think so I trained smart. And, uh, you know, I could have went right into presses and started pressing heavyweight. But you got to make sure your shoulders are loose and, you know, don't want to go tearing anything. So um, I like pre exhausting I normally do for all uh, for all body parts. So um, never tried it. You know, can't really press as heavy when you do flies first, but definitely triggers a muscle differently than just going into a heavy compound movement. So we're gonna do some some heavy ass presses now as much as we can, and then uh, move on to something else. Ortega, he was uh, he's a power lifter. 
So we just started training together a couple weeks ago. Um, he's not used to doing all these reps. He's used to doing like ones and twos. So uh, he's trying to get used to the bodybuilding style of things. Strong kid, but uh, just hasn't never really done a shit ton of reps like this. So it's hard when you're only, when you go from powerlifting to bodybuilding. It's hard and vice versa. Um, I try to train like a powerlifter in the sense that I go heavy, as heavy as I can. And uh, you know, sometimes I probably go a little too heavy. But um, I keep my rep range between 12 and 15. That's where I'm comfortable. I usually don't go any lower than that unless I'm doing like a, a drop set. And then I'll do maybe like an eight or a six, but that'll be followed by like one or two or three drop sets. So, um, you know, it's good. It's a good change of pace for me. You know, I'm teaching him something and uh, we have a good time doing it. So, fresh blood. He made it through two weeks so far and uh, puked his brains out after his first leg session with me. So uh, he came back for more. So he's already got a couple stripes on his helmet in my book. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Now it's point. Let's go. Yep. Big guns for big weight. I can't even push that way. Just line his ass off. If you want to have force, you go three, three, and do something for the middle. A huge fan of uh, machines, but there are certain pieces of equipment I like. Certain gyms I like going to that I'll use um, more machines than I do free weights. And uh, you know, when I go to places like Bev's that isn't a gym I go to every day because, you know, Bev's about an hour and a half from where I live. I wish it was closer, but unfortunately it's not. So when I come here, you know, they have equipment. You know, this is like the East Coast Mecca, for crying out loud. So they got a ton of stuff here. So it's hard to not be drawn to some of the machines and hit your body and your, the muscle in a different angle than it's not used to. So when I come to, uh, to this gym especially, uh, I always find myself using a bunch of the... Uh, machines because they just they did they feel different hit the muscle in a different way and uh it's just um something different you know I, I train at goals in bridgewater every day so i'm constantly used to the same equipment same equipment same equipment so when i go to a different gym i like to really try out you know new equipment it'd be pointless to come here and just do dumbbell work i could do dumbbell work anywhere with these one thing that uh charles glass taught me if you notice i'm kind of like arching my back keeping my chest up I actually slide my ass to the end of the seat so almost my body's almost like that in the seat and uh, really focuses more on the chest that's something that uh, a little tidbit that he showed me when I trained with him it's a lot harder and uh, focuses a lot more on the chest a lot harder to do I can't throw around five six plates probably probably getting put around four plates doing it that way I'm just in the seat with my, with my back against it. I could bang out, you know, five, six plates. But when you're doing it that way, and you're really, your chest is back and your shoulders are back, it's uh, more isolation of a movement. So uh, you know, just slide your ass to the front pad and then arch your back and just keep your chest up. Now we're, we're on a, a piece of equipment that's kind of like a diamond in the rough. You don't see it a lot of gyms. It's a flat press, kind of got a fly motion to it. It's a, uh, who's it made by? Flex. It's a, it's, a, it's a flex piece of equipment. Flex is, uh, you know, if you go to some older gyms that have been around for a long time and established, you'll see a lot of hammer strength I carry in. Flex is, a, is a good, another good company that made a lot of awesome pieces of equipment. Um, you know, so you know, this is uh, something that isn't at every gym. I think maybe it's at this gym and one other gym. Uh, but we're definitely going to uh, hit this up today.
finish strong. Get it. I think that uh, yeah, I, mean, I made a strong point that uh, I'm a threat in the in the 212 class in the chase for the title. And uh, you know, I know uh, it's not an easy task to take out the champion quest, but you know. He's the champion, and there's, there's guys ahead of him that I haven't beaten. But I'm slowly chipping away at guys, you know. Um, the Tricky Jackson beat me last year. You know, me and him went back and forth. And then I ended up taking him out at the Olympia. And, uh, you know, I'll make it a point. But he'll, he'll, he'll never beat me again in the show. And then Jose beat me at the Olympia. But uh, I proved my point two weeks later and beat him at Arizona. So there's only a few, there's only a handful of guys I haven't beaten. You know, me and Aaron competed against each other, Aaron Clark in New York, and it was a battle. I knew after winning Dallas that I had to come in and blow him away to, to beat him in New York. Now, you know, I'm not a judge, and uh, you guys hear it a lot, but judges have a hard, hard job. Um, I think that show could have went either way. I think I had Aaron on, on a lot, a lot of shots, and um, there's people that are there, and uh, even judges that are there, you know, said it was a close call, and he could have went either way, and, you know, it was just, uh, he, he's a good competitor, man, and, you know, he looked good, and, you know, I think I actually, I, I think I was way better than him in the morning, I think he was a bit flat, but came back, and, you know, looked a lot better at night, and ended up uh, beating me, so... You know, it's going to be a battle this year at the Olympia. A lot, a lot of good guys coming. We got Kevin English coming back. Jose Eduardo Correa, who hasn't competed all year because he had a tricep injury. Samuel Haddad's got two wins under his belt. I got two wins under my belt. Um, you know, Flex is obviously the champ. So it's going to be a, another rough year at the Olympia. You know, the, the, the points between first and sixth are going to be minuscule. So, you know, everybody's going to be bringing their A game. So it's going to be uh, one hell of a battle. And, you know, for it being the 50th year anniversary, it's, uh, it's going to be a show you guys don't want to miss. So make sure you keep your eye out.